We are helping the local farmers pick olives. What a fun experience in my white cashmere sweater. Tell me how it tastes, John. Bitter. We will visit Moulin Moujoud's olive mill, where we'll learn the process of making olive oil. Moulin Moujoud is the company which is making... Uh, the best olive oil. A best olive oil, but many other uh, products. This machine has more than one century, and uh, it helps us to produce the pressure. And it works with water, only water. This mill is from more than one century ago and uh, is the really, the authentically first cold press meal. You know, I heard some good news. I understand yeah. now that you are all over America. <clears throat> and exactly. that's so exciting because everyone will be able to taste this incredible olive oil that I've been exposed to. And I, you know, I just love it. I think it's fantastic and it's so good for the skin. Uh, what is important in when we, uh, when we go to the supermarket to choose one olive oil? Uh, the best quality is first cold press. Cold, it starts by, uh, at the land. Right. We have to harvest very fresh product. The best maturity is when the olives is going from green to black. And it's separated by, uh, by uh, the principle of first in, first out. As you see, the olives is half green, half black. It's the best maturity now. One of these make five liter uh, of olive oil. When we have the olives in the meal, we take it and we put it here. And what is this? This is, is the measure of the quantity. Here, we will have 500 kilo. I see. If, you, if we put more than 500, we have to crush more time. So we give it heat. Yeah. So, uh, but this is not good. And where does it go? It goes into this container? Yeah, yeah. When it is uh, well crushed, it goes there, here. And this is at capacity at this point. Put your hand here and Oops. say to me, put your hand, Oops. same that. It's cold. It's cold. Yes. This is very important. Is anything added or is it just the crush of the olive? Only the crush of olives. I see. Only. We no. never add anything. Stones must be very slow to, to avoid the giving heat to the paste. We have to arrive at these uh, aspects of right. the paste. Yeah. Now this paste is okay. Yeah. But it, uh, we, we have never to go more than this. And, right. and this, we may control it by the, by, uh, the aspects and by, by the, fla uh, the, the flavor. The nose. The nose. Yeah. But yeah. using your senses. Exactly. And we take the paste from this side and yeah. we put it here. And now we put it in the filter and we put all the filter uh, in the press. It must go very delicately. Yeah, it reminds the, me of a beehive, you know, somehow I just visualized the honey just exactly, dripping out. It's exactly. wonderful. But the, uh, the pressure must be very, very slowly at the first press. As you see, it's very uh, little press. And the taste is very different between the first and second press. It's fantastic to take olive oil with eggs, but you make uh, oeuf poché in water yes. and you take it and you put some uh, olive oil on, on top. Ex I'm yeah. going to try that. We go to the second press. We take the filter from the first press and we press it again to have the balance of the olive oil. And uh, this uh, second press is more stronger. I like very well uh, the first press with salad, with uh, very delicate uh, things. And uh, the with second harissa. press with the harissa, of, of course. course. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but the second press, perhaps we uh, Tunisian people make with uh, very traditional dishes too. Yeah. Same couscous, same lochiyas. For me, the best is the first. So at, at your house, you always have just the first press? I have, in my house, I have just first press. 
Because you are the tops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we export only the first press. This is the paste. After the first and the second press, it becomes some that. And, the, uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, around 500% of olive oil here. So we, will, we sell this to the raffinery and they will make with what you found in the supermarket uh, under the label of refined olive oil. After the press, we have a mixture of olive oil and we take it here, we let it around 20, 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, we have the olive oil in the top. And the color, my God, yeah. it's such a natural color. This is the first press now. And you will see the difference between the color of the first press, this, the second press. The color, and the, you will see the flower is a little more, uh, more strong. It even comes down slower because it's thicker. Let us start with the first. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> full, try body, to yeah like wine exactly and and look the piquant here down and, here yeah very little piquant this is the antioxidant let us try the second now i'm sure this is going to be much stronger uh, you will see <laughs> that's fine thank you I like the first one better. Yeah. When the olives is very well made, the difference between the first and the second becomes very delicately. Le histoire. L'histoire. <laughs> this, we found it in our farm. It's an antique meal. Uh, it comes from 2000, uh, more than 2000 uh, uh, years. Really? Yeah. We just, with archaeologic, we just add this to make it the more wood. Uh, the wood the wood yeah to make it more uh, uh, more uh, and uh, understandable right yeah uh, but how do they operate this um, yeah uh, 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 at the last time they turn this they turn this huh? right same that they turn it and this comes down and they press the filter and as you see is the same uh, as you have inside. As the first cold press, the difference, it comes from this. Who was the first country to develop this process of olive oil? Uh, very good question. Uh, I think... Uh, Say Tunisia. Uh, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot because I, I, I am not uh, uh, sure that is uh, Tunisia, but uh, Tunisia has uh, had participate but it's a part of the uh, eastern culture it's the um, middle eastern culture olive oil it's turkey it's tunisia yeah it's, it's mediterranean mediterranean, mediterranean. Yeah. Uh, is for this reason i say uh, the the olive oil is from mediterranean uh, the country of olive oil is the mediterranean yes uh, it's the, the climate Exact. And it's all those things that make a difference. Exact. It's uh, not only Tunisia, not only Italy, not only Spain, but is the product of the Mediterranean. But the problem in states that uh, all people knows very well the north coast, yeah. but they n never know uh, very well the south, the south side. Yeah. They think of Italy as opposed to Tunisia, but Tunisia is very important for Olive oil. Uh, 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 Sicily is from 100 kilometers from here. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, I don't understand why uh, Sicily, Italy, and all north side is very known, but uh, we don't know very well the south. This occasion is to give some ideas about south side. But you know what's really important now is yeah. the labeling. They're not saying uh, Italy any longer. They're saying Tunisian, Tunisian olive oil. So yeah. that people understand that it's coming from Tunisia. It's not brought or imported to Italy. And then Italy slaps their label on it and claims exactly. it. You know, exactly. So I think that's a wonderful honor. Exactly.